What's up everybody? It's me, John Vaughn. Um, I'm making this video basically because we need your help. Uh, many of you know, maybe you don't know, that I'm going to Ecuador this summer. IUS, my college, Indiana University Southeast, they take an annual trip to Ecuador every year. This is going to be their 11th year going. I'm fortunate enough to get to go. Um, this is the first year that they're taking computer science majors. Since I grew up in South America and Bolivia, I was really, really interested when uh, my teacher Joe mentioned this trip to Ecuador and mentioned that it was the first time that they were ever taking computer science majors and that we were going to go down there and set up infrastructure, set up computer systems um, for some unfortunate schools in Ecuador that don't have computer systems, that don't have computers and the resources that we have. So it's going to be a really good trip. What we need from you guys is just really your help with donations. Um, it's really sad that most of the schools that we're going to are going to be in very, very poor Ecuadorian villages. Um, the children there, simply, their parents simply don't have money to buy them school supplies or anything like that. The schools are public schools. They're not really funded very well because of how the Ecuadorian government operates and the tax system down there. So, unfortunately, they're pretty low-class schools. They look forward to IUS's trip every year. They really look forward to us coming down there, teaching them stuff. IUS takes nursing majors, education majors, criminal justice majors, and like I said, this year for the first time, they're taking computer science majors. As a computer science major, I am trying to do my part to uh, help out with the fundraising. Like I said, we really, really need funds to be able to buy school supplies for these children. I set up a fundraiser on my webpage, thinkvon.com backslash summers in Ecuador. If you go there, uh, you're able to no you're able to donate. You're able to donate a dollar if you want. You can donate as much money as you want. But for every dollar that you donate, one of these uh, beautiful big bags of candy will be handed to one of the children. After you donate, you're going to be redirected to this page, and this page allows you to upload a file with your picture and your contact information. If you want, we'll put your picture inside of the bag of candy so that the child can see. And we're going to video record everything, so if you leave your contact information, you will be able to see the children receive their bags of candy and receive the school supplies that your dollar donations that purchase the candy were able to buy. Uh, what this video is about, basically, is using programming. As a computer scientist, I love to program. So this video is basically about using programming to help spread the word about our fundraiser. So. Uh, Let's go ahead and let's get into the programming aspect. What I've been doing is I've been going to school at IUS every, every year since 2009. And uh, if you look here, I've got all the classes that I've ever been to. This is a uh, particular computer class, C202. I'm going to go right now to this philosophy class right here. And I'm going to look at the roster. When I go to the roster, I've got all this information here that has to do everybody's name okay so now what I can do is I can go back to this file here after I copy it I'm gonna copy that and I'm gonna put right down here P 100 copy and paste it got another file here keeping track of all the classes that I've already done so P 100 alright so I'm going to go ahead and save this file. I've saved it as emails.txt. And I'm going to go ahead and write me a simple program real quick. I'm going to do notepad emails.java. Yep. And let's go ahead and start doing some programming. Import java.util because I need a scanner. Dot star. Import java.io.star because I'm going to need. Um, I'm going to need to manipulate some files, so public class emails main method public static void main string args there's my main method I'm going to go ahead and instantiate my program emails key equals new emails Okay, system.out.println emails is working. Now I'm going to go ahead and save this and 
and here in my command line javac emails dot java no errors so I'm gonna run my program java emails you can see it's working so let's go ahead and uh, get everything else working I'm gonna make a method to get emails public void get emails this is gonna need to take a file and we're gonna call it input alright so and we need a try and catch block try catch we're gonna catch an exception alright so this ends our try catch alright so what are we gonna need in here we need a file output equals new file and we're gonna call it only emails dot txt we need a scanner for our input scanner so it's gonna be a file scanner so I'm calling it fs equals new scanner input and we need a print writer print writer pw equals new print writer and we're gonna give it output alright so let's just go ahead and what I like to do whenever I'm programming is I like to constantly compile my program make sure there's no errors right now there's no errors as you can see program still working alright so now we just need a loop to run through the file while fs dot has next it's gonna end our while oh, I just thought of another thing we need a string string current equals nothing okay so now we're gonna do current equals fs dot next then we're gonna do an if block if current dot contains and we're looking for the at symbol because that's how we know it's the email then we're gonna do several things we're gonna do system dot out dot print line current and we're gonna do pw dot print line current plus semicolon to delimitate it and we should be pretty now we should be done so actually we just need to come here and we're gonna do pw dot close and we can also do fs dot close and then we need to come up here and do um, file input equals new file remember I said uh, emails.txt remember I showed you this file that we're working on and the name of it as you can see up here the name of it is emails.txt so now everything should be working let's see p dot get emails and we'll do input and we'll save it we're going to come back to our command terminal. We're going to. Oh, FSPW. What's going on? Cannot find symbol. Cannot find symbol. That is because. Now let's try it. There we go. So let's run it. And look at all those emails we just got. So now we're going to go back here. We're going to look at only emails.txt. And all that's in only emails.txt, as you can see, is only emails. So we got basically here's what happened. We we just went through and we're going through the roster. And all we're doing is sucking all these emails up. And now we got a file that has only emails, so I can control A, control C, copy all these emails. Now anybody that's ever been in any one of the classes that I've ever taken, whether they're a teacher, whether they're a student, or whether they were an observer, 
Um, in just a few minutes, they are going to be getting an email from me. And what's the email going to say? Basically, all the email is going to say, I would encourage you to be my Facebook friend. I always need more Facebook friends. You can be my Facebook friend just by sending me a request. The URL is facebook.com backslash king.john.vaughn. Um, I only picked that because that's what Facebook recommended. I'm not a king. I wish I was a king because if I was, I wouldn't be uh, doing everything I could just to try to raise some money for these poor Ecuadorian kids. Like I said, we really, really need your help. Um, so basically, all this information right here that's on my Facebook page is about to get sent out in a mass email to anybody that's ever been in my class. And that's the end of the video. That's how we're using programming to help raise money for the Ecuadorian kids. Like I said, we really need to buy them some school supplies or us going over there teaching them classes. I, myself, am teaching computer security, basic programming one, basic programming two, and proper use of social media like Facebook and Twitter. So if you support underprivileged kids, like I said, the schools that we're going to are in the poorest regions of Ecuador. Um, average families over there make anywhere from $75 to $100 a month, so not a lot of money. They really need your help. They don't have school supplies. They don't have hygienic supplies. Um, they live in a very, very, um, I don't know how to say it and not sound rude, social, economic, uh, they live in poverty. That's a, that's a bottom line. They live in poverty. We do not. Um, I'm doing everything I can to help donate. I encourage all you, my Facebook friends and family, to help us out as well. And anybody that's about to get a mass email from me, please don't spam it. Please just look into one of the fundraising options that we have. We have several fundraising options. Um, some of them you don't even have to donate money. You just got to like and share a page. And you liking and sharing a page gets toothbrushes and toothbrushes or toothbrushes and toothpaste for them kids. So, like I said, you've seen how easy it was. Um, I have used my programming skills to go in and get all these emails. Now, like I said, anybody that has ever been in one of my classes before, they are about to get an email requesting them to donate some of their time or some of their money to the wonderful kids of Ecuador who really need our help. Thanks for watching the video. Thanks for learning how to program. Definitely, definitely thank you for helping out the Ecuadorian kids. Um, I really hope you guys donate. We can't do this without you. Ecuadorian kids, they can't get their school supplies without you. We can all help together. A dollar, five dollars, ten dollars isn't really going to cost you much. I know you have it. Please just help donate to these kids because they really, really need our help. Um, if you want, definitely recommend that you go in and uh, like this page, which is the official page for the trip to Ecuador at facebook.com backslash summers in Ecuador. This page we're going to post videos, um, pictures, all the information while we're actually in Ecuador so you'll get to see us. Um, I'm going to videotape all the classes that I teach and they're going to be uploaded to this Facebook page. So if you're interested in the work that's going down in Ecuador, like I said, IUS has been going down there for the last 11 years. If you're interested in that, just like this page. Thanks for watching this video and thanks a lot for your donations. This is John Vaughn, and this video is over.